மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் சேனல் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் அருணா சண்முகவேல் ஷல் வி ஸ்டார்ட் திஸ் செஷன் வித் அ கோட் டூ திங்ஸ் டிஃபைன் யூ யுவர் பேஷியன்ஸ் வென் யூ ஹேவ் நத்திங் யுவர் ஆட்டிடியூட் வென் யூ ஹேவ் எவ்ரி திங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் த மேண்டிபுலார் நவ் Before entering into the topic as such, I want to highlight three bony areas. They are trigeminal impression, foramen oval and scaphoid fossa. The trigeminal impression is a semilunar depression present in the anterior aspect of petrous part of temporal bone. It larges the trigeminal ganglion which is otherwise called as gesserian ganglion. This ganglion is housed within the dural pouch called cavum trigeminal. The foramen oval is seen in the greater wing of sphenoid. Through this foramen oval, mandibular nerve, emissary vein connecting cavernous sinus with pterygoid venous plexus, accessory meningeal artery and lesser petrosal nerve pass. The scaphoid fossa is present near the pterygoid fossa the upper end of posterior border of medial pterygoid plate bifurcates and forms boundaries for scaphoid fossa tensor valley palatinum muscle takes origin from this fossa remember this fossa is medial to foramen oval so tensor valley palatinum muscle is medial to the trunk of mandibular nerve Now, let us see the cranial nerve nuclei for the trigeminal nerve. The motor nucleus of trigeminal nerve is present in the upper part of pons. The sensory nucleus of trigeminal are mesencephalic nucleus, chief sensory nucleus and spinal nucleus. The trigeminal nerve emerges as two roots, larger sensory nucleus. and smaller motor from the junction of pons with middle cerebellar peduncle the sensory root forms sensory ganglion which is located in the trigeminal impression the three divisions ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular branches arise from this ganglion the motor root runs deep to trigeminal ganglion and joins with the mandibular division hence ophthalmic and maxillary divisions are purely sensory but mandibular division is a mixed nerve the mandibular nerve is the nerve of first pharyngeal arch both sensory and motor root of mandibular nerve pass through foramen oval as they emerge out of foramen oval the two roots join together to form a single trunk After a short distance the nerve divides into anterior and posterior divisions right what are the relations of mandibular nerve medially the tensor valley palatine muscle is present the otic ganglion is sandwiched between tensor valley palatine and trunk of mandibular nerve laterally the upper head of lateral pterygoid muscle is seen the posterior border of lateral pterygoid plate lies anterior to the mandibular nerve the middle meningeal artery a branch of first part of maxillary artery lies posterior to the mandibular nerve shall we have a look at its branches the main trunk gives off two branches one sensory and one motor the sensory branch is the meningeal branch called nervus spinosus it enters into the cranial cavity through foramen spinosum along with middle meningeal artery to supply the dura mater in the middle cranial fossa the motor branch is the nerve to medial pterygoid muscle it arises from the medial aspect of main trunk of mandibular nerve and supplies medial pterygoid muscle it gives a twig to otic ganglion which will bifurcate into two to supply tensor tympani and tensor valley palatine these fibers will not relay in otic ganglion the anterior division of mandibular nerve supplies the remaining muscles of mastication that is masseter temporalis 
and lateral tergoid muscles it also gives a sensory branch named buccal nerve so the anterior division is chiefly motor and partially sensory the masseteric nerve emerges from upper border of lateral tergoid muscle in front of temporomandibular joint and crosses the mandibular notch being accompanied by masseteric artery enters into the deep aspect of masseter muscle to supply it it also gives a branch to temporomandibular joint where the muscle masseter acts upon thus the masseteric nerve obeys hilton's law right what is hilton's law the nerves to the muscles acting on a joint give branches to that joint also and may give a branch to the skin over the area of action of these muscles the masseteric nerve supplies the muscle masseter and also gives a branch to temporomandibular joint but it does not give cutaneous branch thus partially it obeys hilton's law the deep temporal nerves are usually two in number anterior and posterior these nerves emerge at the upper border of the lateral tergoid muscle and ascend up in the temporal fossa to supply temporalis muscle the nerve to lateral tergoid muscle enters the deep surfaces of both upper and lower heads of the muscle and supplies it the buccal branch is the only sensory branch arising from the anterior division of mandibular nerve it emerges between the two heads of lateral tergoid muscle and then runs downwards and forwards over the buccinata it gives a branch to the skin over the cheek then the buccal nerve pierces buccinata and supplies mucous membrane of the cheek and gum of lower jaw opposite the molars and second premolar teeth remember skin and mucosa over the buccinata are supplied by buccal branch of mandibular nerve but buccinata muscle is supplied by buccal branches of facial nerve the branches of posterior division are auriculotemporal nerve lingual nerve and inferior alveolar nerve these nerves are explained in separate videos and the links are given in description please do watch shall we end of the session with a quote every defeat every heartbreak every loss contains its own seed its own lesson on how to improve your performance in the next time thank you for watching